It's almost spring. <laughs> we have spring. something for you to see. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's almost spring. We're going to update this pretty soon. We promise. promise. Probably by next week, you're going to see some wildflowers because I don't think snow is really. Us deeply. <laughs> yeah, our uh, OCD is kicking in <laughs> a little bit. If it's upsetting us, it must really be upsetting you. You probably didn't even notice it. Now you do. That's all you're going to look at the whole time now. Just kidding. This is a funny thing to filters. look at. Filters. Yeah. Yes. Do you, have you used filters? I, I have. don't. You, in the past, like the ears. The and little everything. ears. You know, on Snapchat and yeah. on Instagram, you can do that. But also on Facebook Live. So we do some Facebook Lives sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of reporters do say they're, you know, meteorologists. They go out in the field. Well, this guy happened uh, to put filters on his report, but he had no idea <laughs> that oh, they were on. we didn't know the whole time? No. So his photographer oh, was telling him, no. um, hey, dude, there's something weird going on with your camera, and he's shrugged it off. He was probably like, oh, it's <laughs> probably fine. Is it live? And so <laughs> they kept cycling oh, through no. all of these filters. There he looks like a wizard. Oh, googly eyes. Action right there. I've seen some weird Facebook lives and some weird live shots, but yeah. and this <laughs> one takes the cake. This poor guy. I know. I mean, so it's bad enough that you're standing out in the snow. Oh, God. You know, and half the time they're like, don't leave your house. It's yeah. very dangerous where we are yeah. right now. The news director's like, send him out. It's great. <laughs> that space helmet, that last one you saw was probably my favorite. Yeah, so just next good. time you do a Facebook Live and you're a reporter, double check <laughs> that the filters aren't on. Right. Um, so The Bachelor obviously is really popular. And I think right. we're coming down to the end of the season mm -hmm. on this one. But it's one of those shows, reality shows, that just continues being popular. People never get sick of it. No. Would you watch one with senior citizens? Yes, I would. Seniors looking Absolutely. for Absolutely. Because believe it or not, that's apparently what's next. Well, I think we look for advice from seniors and how to make love work, don't yeah. you think? Well, I agree. Maybe They've these been... aren't the person, people we want to be taking advice from. Oh, though. look at that person. Mm -hmm. that, uh, what's that instrument called? I forget. A xylophone. Uh, uh, no, a horizontal ukulele. Anyway, um, so during one of the commercials for Monday's airing of The Bachelor, there was this announcement saying, we're looking for seniors who are looking for love. They're looking people in their golden years who they say, is 65 and up right. and so would you watch that would you participate in that if you I think I'd like it better than The Bachelor even yeah mm -hmm. probably there's not as it's much probably drama be although maybe there is no there'd probably be more drama I feel like with seniors really no, well, <laughs> but you know what it is though at that age people stop caring about what they say <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's true. I mean, that's that you might hear make that it a lot. more interesting. So uh, we'll see what happens with that. Um, but you know those animated images. You know what they're called? Gifs. Gifs. Yes. The creator of them says they're called gifs. Okay. Believe it or not. So that's what he says. Uh -huh. So you know, there's gif peanut butter. Right. And Jif Peanut Butter is upset that people are pronouncing it Jif. They are getting in on the action here yeah. because their brilliant PR marketing team decided to do something about it. Yep. So they're, gonna, they're getting the attention. Yeah, they're going to release these jars of peanut butter that say GIF with a hard G because <laughs> they they don't like that their brand is being said for this other thing. And so uh, how do you say it? GIF or Jif? You said I say GIF. You say GIF. I say Jif. Mm -hmm. I want to say GIF. I think that's more appropriate. You'd like, well, you have permission to do <laughs> well, that. You're you. your own person. That's, it's a free country. Is it a free country? Yes. That's true. <laughs> so peanut butter is getting involved. Okay, this is where I used to work, where we're talking about mm -hmm. right now. The Tri-Cities Washington is like my one of my first jobs as a journalist. And uh, they had quite an issue. I had never seen tumbleweeds like this before. Not quite this many and not quite that big. So this guy, let's see, I, I don't think we have his name, but Look like at you said, he's in <laughs> Tri-Cities Washington. There's over 500 tumbleweeds stacked up against his house and you know what he can't get out his front door anymore he has <laughs> to go through his garage let that go i don't know <laughs> but apparently the one of the only ways to get rid of them is to burn them did oh, you know that instead of like that just looks tossing like that's them? a good idea but how how does this many get stacked up that's know. crazy and why is this making national headlines well because this is the morning blend Heather <laughs> Rowe. we, we talk only the most stuff here important that's right. stories yes to keep you informed